Hello everyone and welcome to my room and today we are gonna be showing you actually I will be showing you some stuff that my mom has brought me back from Vietnam and also some Haworthia that I've ordered to test out for this year's 2023's pre-orders uh, my cat is right there he's in his little new home um, I've actually gotten this because like he is a senior now so it's hard for his for it's hard for him to jump down like I, I don't like it when he jumps down so he goes up and he goes out down right anyways so I'm gonna show you some stuff that's in here that's really exciting um yeah okay so here is the container we're gonna start with all the Haworthias first because I know that's what you want right and then we'll go with the bottom stuff afterwards okay so first things first we're gonna go with this Haworthia ice river right here Correcta ice river that looks very very beautiful look at all those beautiful windows it has transparency windows oh my gosh look at those, those lines girl Look at this bloom. That looks very, very pretty. Honestly, if I had a house in the right setup, I would make them exchange DNAs and have better offspring DNA babies, right? Is that, is that what they're called? What are those called? Po Cross-pollination. Pollinating, crossbreeding, you know, words, right? That's what I would do, but I don't have that setup. Let's, let's get me to a house, you guys, and have a good setup, right? That looks very, very beautiful, especially with how the sunlight's hitting it. That's very beautiful. So a lot of it comes like this, uh, full size, full grown plant. Uh, fortunately, the roots cut off, you know. Um, a lot of the time the roots come in and they just, you know, dry up anyway. So like when you pot them, they'll, they're just going to rot out anyways. You're gonna lose a few, so it doesn't really matter. Besides, they're very super resilient. You can have them like this for like over a year and they, they'll they look dried up and they're super easy to root. Anyway, so that's that looks very, very beautiful. Look at that. Very, very beautiful, right? Okay, so this next one is called a uh, Haworthia Compatia Emerald Tiger right there. That looks very, very beautiful too. Look at that. It has two, one, two, three. It has three, three ovary penises about to head out and seek some lover so that they can cross DNA themselves, you know, pass on DNA to, to one another and hopefully they'll have better offsprings. That is pretty beautiful. Look at all those lines. Oh, wow. Can we get in closer? Oh, wow. That looks that looks pretty neat. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me focus again. Guys, I want to get a better phone camera. Um, the one that would do a lot better. Hopefully in the summer, I can have enough funds to get a better phone camera. This one does really nicely as well, but, you know, we'll see. That looks very beautiful, right? That's very, very pretty. Okay, so this next one, everybody knows, this is called a lover's love heart. I don't really have to introduce everything. Everybody knows about this one, so it's very pretty. I've always been meaning to get one of these, but I don't know. I never gotten one. I, I did like have them for pre-orders once, and then I thought I ordered one for myself, but I guess I didn't. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll see if we can keep this one for myself this one, this time. Okay, so this one is called a Haworthia Maganii uh, Magic Mirror. Ooh, I think we know why it's called Magic Mirror because it has some magic mic in the... Oh no, sorry, there's no magic mic. There is there is a Magic Mic 3 that's currently playing at the moment, but there's no magic mic, guys. I right, mean, let me focus properly. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't that? That's very, very pretty. All right, that's beautiful. Okay, so this next one is called a Haworthia Truncata Red Lover right here. And probably the reason why it's called Red Lover is because of the very nice windows it has. It's supposed to be reddish. You can see right the detail right there. That's really nice, right? The reddish detail right there. Oh, that's very, very pretty. I think if I stress it out in the summer, you'll see more of it. Oh, wow, that looks really pretty nice. Oh, wow, you can see a little strand of hair, too. That's pretty. All right. And then this next one is called a Haworthia Truncata uh, Bright Moon, Ever Bright Moon, I think. That's what it's called. Yep. Right there. That looks very, very pretty. Look at all that. Look how translucent that is. I think there's one that's without any of the veins, any of these lines there. And smooth as well, but this one's just nice, too. 
Okay, this next one I don't really know how to pronounce. It's called Ahoworthy Badia. Kobiotoriai. Kobiotoriai. And it's actually pretty big. Look, that's pretty big. Fully grown plant as well. You got like all these nice, beautiful, like glasses in there. That's pretty. And then you have this one is called a Hawarthia Chunkara Atsumariai. That looks pretty too. I don't know actually why I got this one. Hold on, let me focus. Oh, look, look at that detail on this. Look at that detail. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm kind of like behind the bandwagon with these, but that's okay. It's never too late, right? It's never too late to start your collection at any time. Because it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as time goes by, right? Because like if you start at the beginning, everything's gonna be super expensive, right? I remember, I think some of these were like hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it just came out too. Anyway, so this one is called Worth It Picked Up White Glass. That is beautiful. Let me zoom in on this. Let me zoom in. Wow. Right? Wow. I love it. That's pretty cool. That looks nice, like especially with the sun hitting it like that. Oh, look at that sun kind of getting brighter. That looks very, very beautiful. Okay, so this next one is called a Hawarthia Kionokoi. I think this is a Splenda um, hybrid. This is probably a Splenda hybrid. I don't know if there's anything special. I don't know why did I get Oh, it's because of its little teeth. That's probably why I got it. Yep, that's probably why I got it. Okay. Okay, so this next one is called a Hawarthia Pygmii Ice Diamond. Ice Diamond. Right, look at how oh, beautiful that is. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Look at all those little, little, um, well, I call them teeth. I don't know what you call them. Somebody correct me in the comments. But they're like, they're like, they remind me of the ones from the aloes. Right? That looks pretty neat. That looks pretty neat. Okay, this one is called a Hawarthia Emperor. I've been meaning to get this one for such a long time. I don't know why I've never gotten one. I think a lot of people have already gotten this and like I'm probably like the last person to get this as well. I think that's pretty cool. And then another version of it is called Angel's Tear. Same thing again. I don't know why I haven't gotten one of these. But I guess it's never too late to get one, right? That looks pretty cool. Okay, so this one is called a Haworthia uh, Blue Diamond. It looks like a Mordor, right? But this one's supposed to be bluish. The, uh, the reason I got it is because of the teeth. I love, I love the spikiness of the plant. Look at that. Look at all that. Honestly, I need a new cam form, cam camera phone, the one with like a macro lens on it. I mean, I do have a macro lens on my DSLR, but you know, that thing is pretty chunky, right? And I know there are phones that have like DSLR, sorry, my macro lenses on them, but not like the high-end ones, which sucks, right? But you can zoom in like that. That is pretty cool, wouldn't you say? I think that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, wow, that looks nice, doesn't that? That looks nice. Okay, so this next one is called Haworthia Maganii, uh, Flame, 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 Dragon. Yeah, Flame Dragon. Yeah, if I do that, it's easier. Okay, good, that, that's cool. It's pretty. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so this next one is called Haworthia Correcta Fire Phoenix. And I think I know why it's called Fire Phoenix. Look, look at up here. It's supposed to be a little bit more reddish, but you know, it needs to be stressed out and in the sun, but look at that. Look at that little nice detail, texture, detail, detail. I say detail because texture is how it feels, detail. Look at that nice detail it has. That's very, very pretty. All right, that's the very, very pretty plant.
Okay, so this next one is called a Howorthia uh, Correcta Green Ghost. Everybody loves that word green ghost. Oh my gosh. All right, look at how nice that is. That's pretty. Look at the detail on that. That looks pretty, right? I like it too. Okay. So this one is called a Haworthia Green Flame. I know a lot of green and then ghost and flame, it's all in the same thing, right? Look, let's zoom in. Look at the detail on this. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's very, very pretty. Um, so this one is called a Haworthia Kampatia Hagugai. Hagugai, Gi. It's supposed to be pinkish, but it's not stressed out. So it's not going to be as pink as what it's supposed to, but yeah. The center is a little pinkish, but that's okay. Look, look at all that. That's pretty. I'm not sure if there's anything else special about this one, but look how nice and thick that is. Okay. Okay, so this one is called a Haworthia. I can't pronounce the name of this one. Atrofushka. Hmm, I think I have to revitalize this before it, it turns out to be nice looking. But yeah. Okay, so this one is called a Haworthia Splendent Aries. That is pretty cool. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, that looks pretty cool this way. Look at that. Right. Nice full plant as well. And then this next one is called a Horthia Pygmia Pink Beauty. Let's take this out. Probably the reason why I bought this one is because it's pink. And I also, I love the teeth. I'm sorry, I love the texture on this. Look at how that nice texture it has. Right? That looks beautiful. Let me zoom in more. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to save my fun for a better phone camera. And yeah, look at that. That's pretty beautiful, right? Yep. Okay, and this one is called a Hawarthia Badia Sensui. Sensui? It's hard to focus. I guess nothing really special. I mean, the architecture on this it looks really nice. But... The texture is like normal and detail is okay as well. It's just, it has nice sharp architect, right? It has nice sharp lines. Um, oh, this is an agave that I love. Um, it's a miniature one of the Potatarium that Miss uh, Mama Eubanks always like loves to show off. This is a miniature one. It's called a agave ethymesis, Kayak of Margiana. It only grows this big. Which is nice because I don't have space, you know what I mean? I don't have space. I love agaves too. Okay, so this last one is called a Haworthia Compantia Sushio. Sushio? Look how beautiful that is. And this is a fully grown plant, look. Fully grown plant, has some nice roots. I think I one of them broke off, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Pot this one up. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't that? That's beautiful. Okay, so those are all the Haworthias. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go through this stuff down here, which I know you're probably excited about. You're like, I don't care about the Haworthia. I wanna see what's in the box. What's in the box is not somebody's head, don't worry. So I've gone, I bought some of these um, Hanging pots because I thought they were the same size as the one that I kept buying from crystal, but they're not they're a little bit bigger Which honestly, I think it's the perfect size for the Hoyas because the the one from uh, Crystal is a little bit smaller. I think that's shorter too and it w doesn't give me enough space for root this one gives me enough space for root because like the other size um, of Pots are like that big and I don't want it that big, right? I think this is the perfect size. I think I should have gotten more but that's okay. And look how cute the hangers are. They're not flimsy hangers either. And they're not rigid too. So I got that. I got a few of them only. So I probably have to get my cousin to buy me more. And then I got this. This is really awesome. 
These are square pots. You're like, dang, square pots are around all the time. Why don't you show me this basic thing? Oh, oh please, peasant. You haven't seen anything yet. Look, they are hanging square pots, okay? Okay, girl. Okay, you can you can hang these square pots, okay? There you go. See? You can hang these square pots. I love them. That's really cute. I love square because like they're small, so much easier to like, you know, um, so much easier to organize. Oh, I hate round pots. I love square pots. They're, these are cool. So these are the hanging stuff for it. Uh, I'm gonna put them aside. Okay. And then this here is the, um, the, what is it? This is for my tropical aeroid stuff, right? Where um, you put moss inside and then it just hangs on, right? And the great thing about this is you can, they're like transformers. You can take apart and put them together. Uh, that's really cool. So I got these. So like, you know, you can keep adding more and more and more if you need to, instead of having to buy like one gigantic one and like your plants are like, doesn't grow that high, right? So that's one thing. Okay. And then I bought extra of these because I really love these um, Haworthia ceramic pots. I really love them and, and ran out of these ones, right? I got this one for myself. This is a unicorn building block. Love this one because like, I love unicorns, right? And there's like how many pieces? There is 2,096 pieces and it's eight years plus. Okay, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, we're gonna make a video about building this together. I think it's really cute. And it actually comes with also the glass thing that comes inside there too. I kind of opened it a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna make a video about this. We're gonna build some building blocks together. And, let me put that aside, that's just tags. And what my mom brought me, we might uh, be offering this year on the orders is some uh, building blocks for succulents as well. You can see here. This one's for the cacti. This one, I think, is for... I don't... Boral's tail. Oh, it says right here. Boral's tail. But it's pink instead of green. Anyways, it's cool. So, what's inside is like... It'll be like this. Right? And then you also get instructions to put it together. Right? Um, so, I think what's going to happen is... Um, because... Like, if it's in boxes like, like this, it's going to take up too much room, right? So what's going to happen is it's going to be open, and these boxes will be like... Um, oh, let me use this as an example. I think this is a better example right here. Like, it'll be open like this, right? Taken out like this. And then the boxes is just going to be folded like this, right? And all of this is going to be shipped to me. And then once it's here, I'm going to put it all together because this would save up on shipping. So you will receive the package un 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 sealed, unopened, the instructions for the how to put it together. And of course, the box, right? That makes sense. Instead of like having to ship all original boxes, like, that means that I can't bring in a lot more than I should, right? So that this is cool. This one's this one. That's pretty cool. We're going to put them together. Don't worry. We are going to building block all this together. And then I got all this one too. Look, that's pretty cool. I really like this one, right? This cool, this, 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 this. Those are, oh wow, this one's really cool. And this one's really nice too, right? So I got all these ones. Um, and the weird thing, some of them allows you to choose which one you want to bring in, which one you want to order. Some don't, some of them just random. Look how cute this one. This is an elk. This is an elk with some succulents on top. That's pretty neat. All right, this, I bought this for my friend. This is a puppy, a dog with like some plants on top. She likes plants and she has a dog. This is a cute piggy with like um, cacti on top. That's cute. This is a bear with bear paws, right? You know those bear paws? Yes, girl. This is a duck with some cacti. That's cute. This is a cat with some cacti. That's cute. We got more like succulent plants here and then more plants here as well. Um, there was, I think, a few of them that they ran out because they, I, it was a whole entire set that was supposed to be shipped to my cousin. 
And then unfortunately, they, they didn't get shipped because they ran out of certain boxes. It's, it's supposed to be like um, one huge thing, but they ran out of certain like of certain ones. So they, they got canceled, which sucks. I got, oh, my, oh, kind of pissed off. Anyways, this is cute too. What is this? This is called Plant Workshop. No, that's not what it's called. Whatever. Look at that. That's cute, right? That's cute. Um, this is cute too, right? Look at this cacti. That's cute. Right? Look at all these cacti in here too. That's cute, right? I ordered this one and this one and this one and this one. These two were supposed to be in like a set with the ones that got canceled. I'm so mad. I'm so, so mad. So, so mad. Look how that cute that's cute, right? Look at all this too, right? Some of them got canceled. Like, like whatever. Kind of mad. Kind of not mad. Look, that's cute. Right? Look at this cacti right here. Right? That's cute. This cacti right here too. That's cute. And then this one is a whole set of like... A whole set of like, I think nine of them. Nine of them? Yeah, nine of them. I think my cousin forgot to like... My cousin received these and then she just took it out of the box and then just, I guess, put the thing inside. Which is fine, whatever. No, no, most people recycle the box with this. But as long as the instructions there, that's fine. Right, and then you got like, I don't know what these are. These, oh yeah, these came from my cousin too. And then I think she forgot to like, I forgot to tower to keep the boxes. Whatever, we'll figure it out later once we start doing things, right? Anyway, so that's it for the um, Hawarthia and Toy Showcase. I hope you guys are, have enjoyed this fun, fantastic video because we are going to be building all these together one day one video at a time and i'm going to be so busy building i don't know what i'm going to put all this anyways thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you do thumbs up of course press like subscribe no press like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one